Hi, I'm Aisha, you are watching Educational Hub. This tutorial going to more interesting for researchers. So, let's begin. Are you confused and unsure about how to add citation or references in Microsoft Word? This video help you. Okay, let's look at the screen. This is a PhD student's thesis. Adding citation and references in document is very easy by Microsoft Word. Okay, let's go down in the document. So, we have our information, that we have things, called citations. So, let's show you how easy that is to do. First thing, let's go on the top of the screen. Now, check on the references box, and we find this area right here, citation and bibliography. Okay, so, when you are doing the work, and you are finding the information, a lot of students find the information in a book, or a website, or something, and then they write in the document, and then go try to find the source was later, and of course that is not going to work very well. Okay, here by clicking on, manage sources, it allows you to put that information in as soon as you find it. Let's concentrate on this side of the screen. So, current list of material use of the document. Okay. I'm going to click on it to show you what it means and hit the edit button and you will see this was a website okay this drop down list shows you there are many choices you can use book book section a journal article you also see down here we have things such as an interview sound recording or many options but this was a website and this option up to fill in the information that you can this website is not written by specific person, it was the written by the companies, so it is a cooperate author. It was the About Us page, of course the name of the website. We know it was done in 2010, we don't know the month of the page with the blank. But here is the URL to get to that site, we are done with it. Let's check another one, if we take a look at that, we will see, we put it in as a report. So the cooperate author, and then the actual title of the document, the year, it was published, and who published it, what city it was published. Now, you notice these have checkmark next to them. Each checkmark indicates that this references is used as a citation in document. So, let me just explain to you, when I click into on document, I will look here, and anything that does not have a checkmark, should not be in your bibliography, it means you did not use it, in the documents. So, let's close this for just a moment, and take a look, let's say, we want move down here, and I'm going to click it here, and, now that this material has been added into the references, if I want to add a citation, I make sure that I have the APA style selected, and latest one, and click on citation, and there are all the documents, that were listed as references. So, as soon as click there, it puts the citation in the place. Here is a quote. Take us from here. I want to show you where that quote from right after that, I'm going to insert it, let's it came from the same document, now, that's been inserted into place, okay, so, those are the citation put in the right place, but the important thing of this is not just a citation, it is at the end of the whole thing, you go to your blank page, and you will click on bibliography, now all those documents that you have put in as references, will be put in a PA style, because that style you have indicated into a bibliography, the work is all done for you. Thank you for watching, I hope this will helps, like, share and subscribe my channel for more informative videos.